What is up, my pleasure babies? Welcome to Monday's episode. It is currently 10 p.m. on a Sunday, and we are looking at my fake motherfucking watch because this one has zero screen, so we can't look at that together. But it is 10 p.m., and I am filming tonight because I need to get this episode out to you for, well, Monday at 8 p.m. and you're watching, so it's 8 p.m. So what the fuck are we learning today? Well, today we are gonna learn how to ride that dick. You know, that dick, the dick. <laughs> yeah. In this episode, I'm gonna be giving you my top two positions and my top tips on how to ride, well, the D or the strap-on. I mean, whichever you prefer. Either way, by the end of this video, we are gonna have you wiggling your hips, shaking your booty, and bouncing up and down, driving your partner crazy. But before we get started, obviously, if you are new here, you need to subscribe to my channel. And for those of you that are already subscribed or maybe are unsure, make sure you hit that thumbs up video either now or at the end of the video after you realize how amazing these tips are and be sure to go check out some of my previous video as there is a sex tip for just about everybody i've been getting a lot of people asking what my social media is and i go by pleasure baby with two e's and that is on tiktok as well as instagram and my only fans because what would a youtuber talking about sex be without only fans am i right well, it is Pleasure Baby with just one E. So two E's have been done on the platforms I have previously been canceled on. So let's try not to get canceled on YouTube. Let's get started on what y'all came here really for. First, we're gonna start off with our basic grinding technique. Now, you know when you're at those middle school dances and you're like, grinding up on your partner. I would just like to state that was never me. I was usually the loser on the bench just sitting there or telling my mom I don't feel good so I don't have to go. So I don't know that life, but I heard about it. I heard about those little flutes at the dance and the little slutty costumes with your big old bitty titties. And I was just, you know, the emo kid in the corner. Nothing has changed very much, you know. Just kidding, a lot has changed. But to get back on track here, we are gonna talk about the grinding position. First, we're gonna go through the tips for grinding position. Number one is going to be moving your hips. Now, moving your hips can be done in letters, and I feel like that is just the easiest way to demonstrate. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a demo. So don't judge me for what I'm wearing right now. Obviously, I'm in my boyfriend's outfit so well I mean like this is not his but these boxers are his so first off we are going to talk about our hip motions okay you want to be fluid and smooth so we can make a letter C C or we can make a letter O or we can make it a letter U you can exaggerate or just make sure there's rhythm in your hips right so just like you're dancing and you're moving your body you can go the other way you can even do an m because you know my name is miranda so i like to do it so now that you saw the way that you can move your hips with the letters c Oh, you pretty much anything with a round or a jagged. Fuck, you could do the whole alphabet if you really think you are that talented with your hip motions because we all know here you need confidence because confidence is what's gonna make you rock and blow their socks off. Well, let's fucking hope they're not having sex with socks on because that's fucking weird and that's not happening in my bed. No sorry. nope. Next, we are going to move on to the next important tip. You are gonna be moving your pelvis back and forth. So a lot of the time, people wanna like bounce up and bounce down and bounce up and bounce out, and that is not what we're doing in the grinding technique. In this one, we are going to rock our pelvis back and forth, back and forth. So this is kind of roughly what it should look like. So we're going to go into an anterior tilt and to a posterior tilt, anterior tilt, posterior tilt. Now, obviously this is a little bit dramatic, but essentially 
that's what it should look like. <laughs> now the main reason we call this the grinding technique is because of the clitoral stimulation you have. Now if you don't know your anatomy, go back to one of my other videos because I just don't want to go over it again in this video. So obviously when we're talking about clitoral stimulation, we are talking about the pressure from the clitoris hitting the pubic bone of your partner and you're gonna get that lovely motion that you enjoy okay because who does not like clitoral stimulation now when you are in this grinding position you can also free up your hands and use them to stimulate your clit manually so not only can you do it with your hips and the grinding motion moving back and forth whichever way your clitoris likes being rubbed you can also incorporate your hands and your fingers and maybe do some circle some side to side and really 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 dive into that g-spot and clitoral stimulation happening at the same Time. Our next position we are going to be talking about, I'm actually going to group two of my favorite positions into one. So we are going to talk about cowgirl and we're going to talk about reverse cowgirl. Now for me, I live me some reverse cowgirl. However, it's not meant for everybody. So we're going to talk about both in conjunction together. So our number one tip for cowgirl and reverse cowgirl is going to be using the hips to bounce up and down. Now, like I said in the past tip, you're not bouncing up and down. Like we, we don't want that here. You're trying to spray in a penis or break it, good. Or fucking accidentally smash it into your asshole, then do that. But I don't recommend doing that and I almost guarantee your partner isn't gonna enjoy that either. So we're gonna use our hips to gently bounce up and down up and down so I'll give you a little bit of a demo so you're using your hips to come up and down up and down up and down so similar to the grinding except for your lifting your pelvis up and you're coming down the next one that you can do is generating the motion from your legs now nine times out of ten you're going to be on your knees in any cowgirl position so the leverage is coming from the knee drive and the contraction of your glutes so the glutes is your booty so you're going to be coming up off your knees and then coming down so it's almost like a mini squat so your legs might get cached a little bit early but don't worry I'll tell you how to fix that later on in the video now for these two positions there are two different ways that you, that you can have your hands well there's multiple ways where you can put your hands but we're just gonna talk about two here if you're looking for a little bit of leverage while you're feeling confident within your body and you're showcasing everything from your bust all the way to your pussy you are going to reach your arms back and lean back and that's going to give you that little bit of help to alleviate some of that tension coming from your hips or your quads meaning your legs the next position for your hands can be on your forearms now your forearms are going to rest on their chest or rest on their shin slash quads if you're in the reverse position there you can use the leverage to lift up your butt and bring it down so you're rocking from the hips so think about it the lower that you go with your arms the more you're going to be using your pelvis the higher you come up is the more you're going to be using and activating your legs so you can always alternate between the two kind of like a plank you come down you come up you come down you come up very similar to that this is why sex is a workout so those are my top two slash three positions that are my favorite and those are also the basics so you should really 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 get to understand those and get to understand the motion of your hips before you move any further because these are just really basic general positions now a lot of the time I get vulva owners asking me what the fuck do I do with my hands especially when it's their first time now I kind of cover that when I was describing the sex positions earlier but I'm gonna go over it again a couple of different positions for your hands is going to be on their chest so we're gonna talk about these arm positions and hand positions with our arms extended first you can lean forward and have them placed on their chest on their shoulders especially if they're jacked I mean the chest and the shoulders just feels good and you can even tell them like oh my god I love the way your body looks right now or you're just looking into their eyes and you're in that really really boss ass bitch position because you're on top 
you are the queen. Now with your arms extended, you can also reach in front of you and grab the headboard. Now I say tread lightly because I think Dylan and I have broken a couple of headboards in our relationship and it's not our fault i just really like to grab the headboard so if you are going to grab it make sure it's not a shit ikea bed like we both have now another thing that you can do with your hands is massage your breasts or massage your clit maybe massage their balls from behind if you're into it if you discuss this ahead of time and maybe a little bit of a throat grab maybe a little bit of nipple pulling or nipple play on your partner whatever you and your partner have discussed ahead of time so no boundaries get crossed because communication is definitely key here the next arm positions we're going to be talking about is going to be with your arms bent so being on your forearms you never want to be on your elbows because your elbow has a very very pointy rigid end and that is gonna be like essentially giving somebody a charlie horse that doesn't feel good would you like somebody's elbows dug into you no so don't do it to them that shit ain't hot we are resting on our forearms the very flat surface so again with your forearms being flat on their chest or on their shoulders or around their neck like so you can lean forward even more so than you were before so like i stated in the past you are going to be generating most of that motion from your hips the further you lean forward so those are just a few different ways and a few different variations on where you can put and what you can do with your hands while being on top and if you're feeling extra confident feel free to like play with your hair touch your body you know just get really into it because after all, you are the star of the show. They're watching you. It doesn't matter how you look. All eyes are on you and you're gonna be hot as shit no matter what. Now these last few tips are very, very crucial to remember because these are all very important and I can't list them in order because they all matter. So make sure you continue to watch. So our top tip is going to be going slow. Nobody wants to be jackrabbited unless they're asking for it you want to have control and you want to have a rhythm going so try to find a combination between smooth powerful and a really good rhythm that feels good for both you and your partner chances are if it feels awkward for you it's gonna feel awkward for them too so get into the groove of something that you know and you feel is best number two involve them they don't need to be a dead fish on their back they can change their leg positions. They can hold you up by your booty and thrust for you. You know, like you're just hovering over top of them and they're like, pop, 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 pop. You know, you got it, I got it, it's good. Involve them, they don't need to just be laying there. There are many different things that they can be doing too. And our third tip is going to be eye contact, baby. After all, you are the boss. When I say eye contact, I mean tasteful because you don't want to be like, you want to be like sultry, seductive, you know, you want to have those bedroom eyes in full effect. You want to tease them without saying anything. So make sure that you do a tasteful amount of eye contact. And our fourth tip is kind of what I went over already. It does not matter what you look like they only care about one thing and one thing only and it's catching their nut and i know you don't all want to hear that but that is so fucking true and no matter what at the time they are gonna think you are the hottest thing on earth no matter what because we are worst critics we are the toughest critics of them all on ourselves and that is why you don't have a mirror there so just act like you know what the fuck you're doing get in the zone now the most important tip of them all even though i said there was not a most important tip is to be selfish you need to be selfish you are on top i mean fuck if you're dealing with a penis owner chances are they're gonna catch their nut either way and you probably have a less likely chance of doing that. So take the charge when you are on top. Either A, make sure you get yourself there, or B, make sure your partner gets yourself there. Or three, just enjoy the time that you are having because after all, all sex doesn't need to end in an orgasm. Okay, Volvo owners? 
Did you hear me? I need to repeat that again. Not all sex needs to end in an orgasm. Now, penis owners, that does not mean that you get to catch a nut every single time and not put in work because we definitely still want you to put in work. Now, that brings us to the end of the video for this Monday's episode. Now, if you have any tips or tricks for other people out there wanting to learn how to ride, please drop them in the comments below. After all, we are stronger when we are all together, not as one because there is no I in team, but I know there's a me, but there is no me in this team. It is us all as one. Okay, bitches. That is exactly how we are going to go from here. So drop your tips below and drop your next video recommendations because yeah, I always look at them even though some of these comments are fucking hella mean. But I like looking at the positive comments. So if you have something nice to say, fucking drop it below because chances are I will respond, especially within the first couple of days. I mean, how can I not respond? As the months go on, I'm not going to respond because the comments get negative. And like, when I say negative, I mean like fucking negative. Now, I just want to thank you guys again for all your support. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Let's boost the analytics and push this through to Google so that other Volvo owners understand how to ride. Now, I will see you next Monday, bitches. Or beaches? Or babies? I don't know. But whatever. Triple B's, baby. I will see you on Monday. Time to go smoke a blunt.